Earlier today, the Met Office flagged a severe geomagnetic storm that hit Earth, creating the perfect conditions for the northern lights to be visible across the UK. And the results were breathtaking. Pictures shared on social media show the skies glowing with amazing shades of green and purple, covering large parts of the country, including Tyne and Ware, Cumbria, Yorkshire, Nottinghamshire, Buckinghamshire, and even as far as West Sussex and Devon. The northern lights, typically visible only near the poles, were on full display thanks to this storm, bringing aurora sightings to Scotland, Northern Ireland, and even parts of the Midlands and Southern England. The Met Office had earlier advised people to look north and, sure enough, many were treated to a spectacular show. But how does this all work? Auroras occur when charged particles from the sun collide with gases in Earth's atmosphere near the magnetic poles. As they hit, light is emitted, creating the colorful displays we see. Normally, this happens closer to the poles, within what's known as the Aurora Oval. But during a strong geomagnetic storm, like the one we just experienced, the Aurora Oval expands, which is why so many in the UK were able to witness it tonight. This isn't the first time the UK has been treated to the Northern Lights recently. Back in August, the lights were visible as far south as Cornwall, and in May, the phenomenon lit up a large part of the country. But tonight's show? Absolutely one for the history books. What's causing this uptick in auroras? Well, we're currently heading into a solar maximum, the period of peak solar activity in the sun's 11-year cycle. As the sun becomes more active, solar flares and coronal mass ejections, CME, bursts of charged particles, head towards Earth, creating these stunning light shows. And while these geomagnetic storms can lead to breathtaking displays, they can also be dangerous. Dr. Amore Elst, a geomagnetic researcher, explains that these storms can disrupt power grids, satellites, and even cause internet outages. In fact, severe storms in 1989 and 2003 led to major blackouts in Quebec and Malmo, Sweden. So while tonight's aurora is beautiful, it's also a reminder of the power of our sun. But here's the good news, you don't need to miss out on future displays. The Met Office advises using a decent camera to capture these stunning events, even when they aren't visible to the naked eye. With long exposure settings, you can pick up on the light's vibrant colors and capture moments that might otherwise slip by unnoticed. And as the solar maximum nears, we can expect even more auroras lighting up the sky in the coming months.